Good morning, good morning. Good morning, friends. I'm holding my phone weirdly. That is uh, why that's the thing. I am about to head to Trader Joe's and we will see what we get. Um, oh my god. It's pretty early. It's not that early, but it's like, it's like nine. I wanted to be up earlier, but going to Trader Joe's, this place gives me anxiety if I don't go in the morning. I have not been in six months because it gives me so much anxiety if I don't go early in the morning. But taking the plunge today, going because six months is too long without Trader Joe's. Um, gonna go shop, gonna go show you what I got, and I'm gonna go show you how I cook what I got uh, throughout this video. So, to Trader Joe's. So I'm getting the vibe that I didn't come early enough for it to be completely empty. I mean, like, clearly, like, clearly. But, um, hopefully it's clear enough to not give me an anxiety attack. So, I'm gonna eat this right now. I'm still here. But I was in there for too long, and I'm starving. So I'm gonna drink this right now. Not eat it. Drink it. And I get to do a little tasty, testy thing. I don't have, like, a setup in my car to be able to, like, actually, like, drink it and, like, talk to you about my... Um, opinions on it so I have tasted it I would give it a 6.8 out of 10 but I think that's because of like where I am right now I think on any given day it would be closer to like a 5 out of a 10 5 out of 10 but um this is perfect because it's pretty hot out um I'm like not that hungry but I know I need to eat it has a fair amount of protein um I love chai flavor so I haven't had coffee yet today. Like, it's, it's doing everything it needs to be doing for me right now. So, that's why we get to 6.8. But, like, it's not, it's not ideal. It's kind of gritty, which is weird. I think the almonds aren't fully blended, which is kind of a weird choice. Um, and it doesn't have enough of something. It's, like, stale tasting. Um, but like I said, it's checking all the boxes for me today. Um, it's a little thin as well, but, alright, I want to go home and eat breakfast, and I'll do the haul for you. Alright, see you guys. Hey guys, so I'm back from Trader Joe's, I'm still working on this smoothie, it, the rating is going down more and more as I drink it, and I think we're at like a, like a four now, I'm not really enjoying the taste as time goes on, but I'm not a waster, and honestly, it's still doing its job because I'm unable to cook because I'm doing this, so it's working out. Okay. Anyway, to the haul. Um, so I guess a little background. I don't go to Trader Joe's that often. The last time I went was actually New Year's Eve. It is the beginning of June, so it's been like six months pretty much. But when I go, I like to bulk up on stuff that I know I like, and then I like to try new things. So then, and I don't get too many of the new things, like in quantity, like like I didn't get two of these, I just got one, which is good, because I don't want another one. But like say I had like this, then the next time I go, like I might get like three or something, depending on like the expiration date. So. And that's some background. This came out to $100. Um, what's not shown is I got some flowers that were like $6. So, yeah, like $95 or so, give or take, uh, for all this stuff. Not too shabby, but also not like extremely like cheap either. Uh, I guess like a fair middle ground. I will say, um, I feel like I went to Trader Joe's a few years ago, and I remember it being a lot more expensive than this. And I don't know if that's it got cheaper or Aldi has gotten more expensive on me in the last two more last two years and I haven't realized because a lot of the prices were I would say on par with Aldi for most things um which isn't surprising they're owned by the same company but I remember two years ago thinking some things were a little bit more expensive which you know no one wants to pay for overpriced food Okay, anyway, I'm rambling to the haul. Okay, we're going to start off with boring stuff. Not boring stuff, but stuff that's not specific to Trader Joe's. So I'll do that real quickly. Mandarins. 
yellow onion, red onion, it's for a recipe I'm making for dinner, red bell pepper, same thing for dinner, parsley, also for dinner, um, popcorn, I love my popcorn, they had a couple of options that I could have gotten, but, um, I just like regular popcorn, like, they had like a herb garlic one, but like if I feel like that, I could just add my own herbs and stuff. Like even like, this is a uh, extra virgin olive oil. Like even that to me is a, like a little bit much. Like I just like plain popcorn, but there we go. Um, some plain bagels. I really wanted onion. I don't think they have onion bagels. Um, and then they have everything bagels, which I was gonna get, but then like I noticed like. Look how fluffy this one bagel is. Like, it's very fluffy. And, like, all of them are pretty fluffy. The everything bagels are much flatter. So, um, yeah. I, I like fluffy bagels, so. I went for fluff over flavor. I noticed all these bagels do that, too, where the plain are the fluffiest and the other ones are flatter. Uh, I'm not a baker or anything, but, like, seems a little weird to me. But anyway. That's my cat in the background. She's uh, jumping around, chirping around. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then last, oh, a couple more boring items. Cut some bread, some cereal. This is very berry clusters. Um, blend of oat clusters, corn flakes, multigrain flakes, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. I'm a sucker for a, a good berry cereal. Um, love it. Then we got some waffles. The regular waffles are not vegan, but their gluten-free ones are. Um, so I'm, I don't have like the high, highest expectations because they're gluten-free. I've never had these before. Um, I have had the Target waffles, which I think are like accidentally vegan and gluten-free. And those ones are good. So like I don't have high expectations, but it's also like there's no reason this should be bad because targets are good. Okay, and that's it for kind of like the boring stuff that like you could get anywhere. Um, now moving on to like kind of still boring stuff that you could get anywhere. I lost my, I lost my protein smoothie. I've lost it. Uh, one sec. Okay, I found my smoothie. I'm back. is it the flavor I don't know being a little bit warm I think that as well it's starting to not be cold anymore so um now on to stuff that is still kind of stuff that you can get anywhere but the Trader Joe's version of it um so again really quickly this is like so this is like kind of like just me going regular grocery shopping at this point like it's not me like doing like my full Trader Joe's-esque, like let's buy everything cool yet. We're not at that point yet. Almond milk, almond beverage as they call it at Trader Joe's. Look at this packaging, it's gorgeous. Um, this is uh, original unsweetened. Um, I typically, if I'm cooking like a savory recipe I'll, that needs like milk, I'll use unsweetened almond milk. Um, so there, there's that. Or that's what I put in cereal, uh, oatmeal, uh, smoothies. And then we have some yogurt. This is organic creamy cashew cultured yogurt alternative. So I feel like, I mean, I could be lying, but I think the last time I went, I got an oat yogurt. That, and it was good. And I was looking for it, but I didn't see it. So now I'm like, am I an unreliable narrator of my own life? Have I never gotten oat yogurt from Trader Joe's and all they had was this cashew? So like, yeah, I don't know if I've had this or not or this is new, but I mean, I think it's gonna be good. It, I got vanilla bean and two vanilla beans and a strawberry. Um, there's three grams of protein in it, so mid. Um, 11 grams added sugar. I mean, not great, but like that's also pretty par for the course with yogurt these days. Okay, now we're kind of on funner stuff. So, Trader Joe's vegan cream cheese alternative and their vegan feta. I've had both of these. These are like, honestly, I kind of wish I had bought two of each. I think this is my favorite vegan cream cheese. I don't know why more people don't talk about it. Like, 
Um, I've been hearing a lot of people like the Violife cream cheese, and that's the one I have now, and I, I hate it. Like, I don't hate it, but it, like, it doesn't taste like cream cheese. It tastes like coconut. This one actually tastes like cream cheese to me. And I'm not like a cream cheese snob. Like, I like tofu -y. Like, I, I like tofu -y, and that's like to me supposedly supposed to be like the lowest of the lows in terms of vegan cream cheeses. And I like it because it at least doesn't taste like coconut. Um, but yeah, this tastes really good. I think this is made with coconut. It just doesn't taste like coconut. Yeah. Water, coconut oil, chickpea protein, potato starch. Vegan feta. This is my favorite vegan feta. It's amazing. Um, I love it. There's nothing else to say. It's awesome. It's in a block. It comes in a brine, which is like kind of creepy, but it's perfect. And for protein sources, a little bit on the chiller side, um, I really, really wanted to get their like beefless ground beef, but um, they didn't have any. They only had Impossible, and I even asked for it because like the price differential between their brand of vegan ground beef and Impossible is quite significant. Um, and their brand tastes really good too. So like, but um, apparently they're getting it in tomorrow and they're only getting like one box of it and they haven't had it for a while. So I don't know if it's like on its way to being discontinued or not, which is sad, but yeah, she was like, we can hold it for you. I'm like, I'm not coming back tomorrow. You'll see me in six months. Hopefully it's there. But because of that, I got two soy chorizos um, also, not much to say about it. It tastes really, really good. Chorizo was one of my favorite things, uh, to get in tacos when I was eating meat. So, um, I'm pretty boring when I use this. I just use it for tacos mostly. But there's nothing wrong with that. Some tempeh. I don't think there's anything particularly, uh, special about this tempeh. Organic three-grain tempeh. Yeah. Soybeans, rice, barley, and millet. I don't, I normally get the light life one. I don't know if the light life one has all these grains in it too, but it looks pretty similar to tempeh. Okay. Oh, one more like boring item. I got frozen strawberries. I've been really obsessed with making a strawberry uh, chocolate smoothies. So I got some frozen strawberries. And now we're on to like pantry stable items. I got some 10 minute farro. I freaking love farro. I got two cans of these, but I'm going to show one, just jackfruit. Um, I like getting jackfruit from H Mart because it's cheaper, but H Mart's another place that I only go to like once every few months. Basically, anytime I run out of gochujang is when I'll go to H Mart. Um, that's a must. Um, but you know, I don't see that on my horizon anytime soon, so I picked it up at Trader Joe's. I got two cans. I think it's $2 for one can. Um, yeah, I've only really ever used jackfruit to make, um, pulled, like, pork tacos or, like, sandwiches, and then, like, chicken tortilla soup once I did with this, and it was good. Like, it really mimicked chicken. Uh, I got two of these. These are their tomato paste in the little tube. Uh, fantastic design. Okay, and now we've moved on to convenience items this was like this was hard for me so nothing that i bought in this next section was a necessity in the slightest like not at all um but so it was hard for me because i don't like buying things that like are overpriced and not needed not that like i mean what is needed is so subjective but um Maybe like when I show it, it'll make more sense. But um, I also have been going through a phase where um, I don't want to cook. I know, upsetting considering this uh, channel's title. Um, it's not that I don't want to cook, it's just that um, I don't want to cook a lot. <laughs> um, and so sometimes I don't have lunch for work and and it's not necessarily that I feel like eating out it's just I cannot be bothered to put in the effort to like make myself lunch so I got a lot of things that I could bring to work and microwave and work actually just got a toaster too so I could even bring these waffles to work um 
but yeah, or just like, yeah, grab and go type stuff. But, all right, let's go. And then there's just a couple of like fun items, not gonna lie, that don't have really anything behind it except me just wanting to have them. Okay, so I got one more of these smoothies. This one's banana and almond butter. I am hoping it's better than the chai one. I think banana is a really strong flavor and the issue with the chai one is it's not flavorful enough so I'm hoping like um, the banana just like really helps liven everything that's happening in this up and then I'm also hoping that um, it's a little bit thicker because it's banana but we'll see an almond butter also yeah the chai one's gritty and I think it's because like the almonds aren't fully blended so I'm hoping since this is almond butter it's not gritty. Then this falls under one of the like, I just wanna have, cause I wanna have Trader Joe's hash browns. These are like on the internet everywhere. So, and I like potatoes and I was getting FOMO about not having these. So there we go. There's nothing special about this at all. I think Galdi sells hash browns and I ignore them every time. Like, this was, like, me literally just being guided by the internet. Um, but it's fine. We have this, I'm gonna sound dumb, I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Zook or Zug? Um, I'm not quite sure. It is a very spicy green herbal sauce with Yemeni roots. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It has cilantro, oil, jalapeno, chili flakes, garlic, cardamom, sea salt, cumin seed. The acai packets, uh, I don't know, it's summer, like, it's getting hot, um, I've been really into smoothies lately, I've been very, like, fruity lately, like, this just seems like something that's gonna be nice to have, and, like, I used to, like, give myself, like, a big, um, like, brunch every, like, weekend with, like, potatoes and like sausage and like tofu scramble and like like really do it up and like I still like that but um like in the summer I just want something a little bit fruitier and I think it'd be like really nice to like make myself like an acai os bowl like every weekend and like just treat myself a bit so that's what I got um I think these were like 450 or something they really weren't that expensive um, like, it, I think it's like a dollar per packet, which I mean, you're saving a lot more money rather than going to like Pliable or like one of those places like that. We have some chickenless chicken tenders and then some falafel, but this is dill pickle falafel. Um, I think you can smell the dill. Um, I don't hate pickles, but I don't like necessarily like am thrilled by this. Um, I just really wanted, like, frozen falafel. They have, like, a falafel mix, but, like, it takes, like, an hour to set or, like, half hour. Then you have to bake it and you have to shape it. Like, I like just throwing these in the oven, so, um, wanted to try them out. The worst that happens is they taste like pickles and not falafel, which is not really that big of a deal anyway. So, I think it was worth trying. Here are my convenience items that... I will be taking to work sometimes. We have a pasta bolognese, vegan, obviously, a meatless plant-based bolognese style sauce, mushrooms, and red lentil pasta. I've watched many a review about this, all fairly positive, mixed on like the texture of the pasta because it's red lentil pasta, but the things you do for protein, there's 30 grams of protein in this, so that's cool, like that's pretty filling for like a microwave meal like this. 430 calories, 30% of your daily sodium intake, but also par for the course with things like this. The next one, vegetable pad thai. I almost got their vegan green curry and then something about like curry is such a comforting meal to me that like something about eating it at work was like, I'm not gonna enjoy that. like. A bowl of curry is like a hug, and I don't want to be hugged at work. I want to be, I want to be left alone. And I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this metaphor, but I got this pad thai instead. Nothing like some good noodles at work. Um, I think realistically, this has like the most 
chance of being the best one. Like, it's just pasta. Bean sprouts, rice noodles, tofu, and then all the stuff that would go into pad thai. And and then click scallions. I'm not seeing a lot of vegetables for, it's called vegetable pad thai, but like there's not really that many vegetables listed. Radish, okay, interesting. Okay, and then last one, vegan tikka masala. Um, I'm excited, I don't know how else to say it. I'm excited, they have chana masala, but I feel like chana I can make at home or like, it's just like, this is cool to me. Like, I, I don't know. I miss chicken tikka masala, so I'm excited. I feel like I can smell this one, too. Okay, and then there's one last item. Oh, God. Man, I've only had this protein smoothie. Ignore me. Bam! Just a little sweet treat. It is the oat non-dairy frozen dessert sandwiches. <laughs> I've never had these, but um, I've heard good things, and I'm excited. I love having, like, a little prepackaged frozen treat um, when it's warm out. Okay, that's it for the haul section of this video. Um, stay tuned for me actually cooking with some of this stuff. Um, I don't know how much I'll get to. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to open the cream cheese or the feta in this video just because um they don't expire for a while and um I don't need like I have my Violife cream cheese and um I still have some of Aldi's vegan feta that um I was trying out I'm it's definitely not on par with the Trader Joe's one but you know I gotta use it realistically I don't know how much I'll get through but anything I cook in the next two weeks that's in this haul except for the one dinner I'm making tonight will be in this video and you can check it out how I, I cooked with these things and how I ate these things. This will definitely be eaten in the next two weeks. sandwich like the cookie part has really good flavor ice cream five out of ten cookie part eight out of ten total thing seven out of ten it's an ice cream sandwich come on
so I wasn't going to show me eating a Trader Joe's bagel because I just don't think that's the content that YouTube needs. But these toasted up differently than like the Aldi bagels or any other store-bought bagel I've bought before. So I figured maybe it is worth just filming that because I'm intrigued about how these are going to taste. So I was recording next to my fridge and all you can hear when I'm talking in this clip is my refrigerator. So I'm deciding I'm going to do a voiceover over my actual review, my unsolicited review of these Trader Joe's plain bagels. So they're good. I mean like they're plain bagels, so it's not so like, but I will say they definitely taste different than the Aldi ones. I think the Aldi ones are sweeter and the Trader Joe ones are more bitter. And I would say even the Trader Joe ones are more bitter than any store-bought bagel I've bought before. There's like almost like a yeasty flavor, like a very upfront yeasty flavor. I also don't like that they're not pre-cut, which is why you saw that like it kind of like looked weird when I toasted it because I had to cut it and I didn't have the patience to cut it so I like ripped it apart so overall I would recommend uh the Aldi ones or another store-bought brand over Trader Joe's but obviously it's still good here's me pouring some zucchini over those dill pickle falafels and there's some farro these dill pickle falafels were amazing one of my favorite things I bought in this haul and that's it for this video guys um that's what I ate from Trader Joe's over the course of the last Two weeks so I went through the waffles some of the acai packets the falafel cereal um, yogurt chicken tenders which I'm realizing I don't know I don't think I showed me making the chicken tenders I made a buffalo chicken wrap with the chicken tenders where's the video for that and it wasn't anything special, like, in terms of cooking. It was me making the tenders, dousing them in buffalo chicken, or buffalo sauce, and then uh, eating them. I went through both of the smoothies, so I had the second um, peanut butter banana one. So much better than the chai one. Like, it's actually good. But, um, yeah, if I could recommend two things, I would recommend the falafel for sure and the acai packets. Like, those to me are are very special like I always it felt like a treat when I made myself that smoothie bowl um and then the falafel is just so good like the dill pickle flavor isn't overbearing at all it just and the, the texture of the falafel is also great so if you enjoy this video please let me know below if you want to see like a part two please let me know below like there's still a few things like I haven't I didn't even open so like there could be a part two if people are interested um but yeah, um, a little bit different video than my normal stuff, but, um, it's summer and I haven't been making, um, full-blown meals and it's, it was really nice to have some, like, convenience items the last couple weeks to just, like, cook when I need it, you know? But yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It really supports my channel since I am new. I've only been doing this for a couple months. And I will see you next time, my friends. Until then, bye.